Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths from social media, as seen at Legacy.com in the second week of June 2022. Voice actor Billy Kometz died June 9, 2022, in Hershey, Pennsylvania. He died of colon cancer at the age of 35. He was known for his work in anime, providing voices for shows including Attack on Titan, Pokemon Journeys, and The Rising of the Shield Hero. Kometz is also being remembered for his voice work in such video games as Brawl Stars and for starring in Disney's live show Aladdin, a Musical Spectacular. Actor Philip Baker Hall died June 12, 2022, of emphysema at the age of 90. He was a prolific character actor, known for movies including Boogie Nights and Magnolia, as well as such TV shows as Modern Family. He is being remembered for his iconic appearance as Bookman, the library cop, on Seinfeld. Hall was a U.S. Army veteran who served as a translator in Germany. Singer Julie Cruz died June 9, 2022. She died by suicide at the age of 65. She was best known for her work with filmmaker David Lynch. She sang the theme to his TV series Twin Peaks, as well as other songs for the show and for the movie Blue Velvet. Cruz is being remembered for her ethereal, haunting voice. Football player Don Perkins died June 9, 2022, at the age of 84. He was a fullback and a six-time Pro Bowler with the Dallas Cowboys, who was named NFL Rookie of the Year in 1961. Perkins is being remembered for leading the Cowboys in both rushing and touchdowns for several of the eight seasons he played for them. Artist Paula Rego died June 8, 2022 at her home in London at the age of 87. She was one of England's most acclaimed painters, known for her sometimes unsettling images of people and animals. Rego is being remembered for the feminist themes in her art, as well as imagery from fairy tales and folklore. Writer Baxter Black died June 10, 2022, at his home in Benson, Arizona. He died after a long illness at the age of 77. He was a cowboy poet who published dozens of books of his funny, folksy writing. Black is being remembered for his appearances on NPR's Morning Edition and The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. Boxer Carlos Ortiz died June 13, 2022 in New York at the age of 85. He was a lightweight and light welterweight champion in the 1950s and 60s, successfully defending his titles many times. Ortiz is being remembered as a Hall of Famer and one of the greatest boxers to come out of Puerto Rico. Music promoter Megan Stabile died June 12, 2022 in Valrico, Florida. She died by suicide at the age of 39. She worked to bring jazz music to a new younger audience by blending it with hip-hop beats and lyrics. Stabile is being remembered for her tireless work on behalf of musicians and the jazz scene. Football player Rockney Freitas died June 8, 2022, at the age of 76. He was an offensive tackle for the Detroit Lions and Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the 1960s and 70s. Freitas is being remembered as the first native Hawaiian NFL player to be named an All-Pro. You may not know that any family can place an obituary on legacy in honor of a loved one's memory. 
just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. Five U.S. Marines died when their Osprey aircraft crashed in Imperial County, California on June 8, 2022. Their names are Corporal Nathan E. Carlson, Captain Nicholas P. Lasapido, Corporal Seth D. Rasmussen, Captain John J. Sachs, Lance Corporal Evan A. Strickland. Three people were killed in a shooting at Columbia Machine in Smithsburg, Maryland on June 9, 2022. Their names are Mark Allen Fry, Charles Edward Minnick Jr., Joshua Robert Wallace. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Maryland have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Clyde Bernard Fowler and Deputy First Class Glenn Hilliard of the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of former U.S. Senator Carl Levin. Flags in Montana have been lowered to honor the memory of State Senator Mark Sweeney. Flags in Tennessee have been lowered to honor the memory of General Carl Wade Steiner, U.S. Army retired. Flags in Florida have been lowered in honor of Pulse Remembrance Day. Flags in Florida have also been lowered to honor the memory of Officer Christopher Ferriello of the Tallahassee Police Department. Flags in Wyoming have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Marine Seth Rasmussen. Flags in New Mexico have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Marines Lance Corporal Evan Strickland. Flags in Mississippi have been lowered to honor the memory of Meridian Police Officer Kenneth Winston Croom. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. One year ago this week, actor Ned Beatty died of natural causes at the age of 83. Ten years ago this week, actress Yvette Wilson died of cervical cancer at the age of 48. Musician Waylon Jennings was born 85 years ago this week. He died in 2002 of diabetes at the age of 64. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.